Welcome. So in this video, it's uh, an image from the Inspiration Gallery using clear wax and the white encaustic card. This is size A3 on the electric hot plate. And as I go through the video, I'm going to show you the colors that I'm using on that left hand side there. There'll be bits of speeding up. The idea of this video is to inspire you and look at creating an image and a way of doing that. So I'm starting off with an abstract. What I'm trying to do is to create light and to sort of capture light within a frame. So I'm making all these circles, different colors getting darker as I go further out in order to highlight the area which is right in the middle because the eye is always drawn to that lightest, brightest color. When you see that little symbol, I'm using tissue. And here what I'm doing is I've got a little pad of tissue in my hand and I'm just dabbing it on and off, dabbing it going round and round, sort of hopping along with that piece of tissue. And because I've started with the light color, I don't need to clean it. It'll just carry the color it's worked on further and further out. And now I'm using a very skinny little bit of yellow. So it's obviously a worn down block that I've used lots of times before, just to make these little skinny lines. And then increase the framing effect, enhance that framing. And of course, I could have stopped at any point in time. I don't know exactly what is happening as I go along. I'm just building it up and feeling my way into more and more of this image. So here, just tapping the edge of a block and now preparing a little puddle of wax on the hot plate. And into that little puddle of wax, I'm placing the end of a sponge roller. Press that down just to add some round marks, so stronger definition. Holding the light in the center, keeping a balance in the design. Highlighting. All the time trying to improve, enrich, and make something more of the image than it already was. Now I'm going to create a little cityscape within this, so there's a place going to occur. Using the tissue, carefully blending in to start with. Remember, when you're doing this type of work, you can stop at any point in time you can keep things, you can change things. And the hot plate underneath is just providing a constant temperature. So the wax is workable, it's not too hot, but hot enough to remain molten. Increasing the light, first with white wax and now back on the tissue. Again, blending in carefully and with that stronger color, the forms feel as though they're in front of the softer, more distant ones. Everything can change. That's the beauty of working with wax, of working with encaustic art. In this style of work, there's a single layer and that layer is changing, blending, being replaced sometimes. It can be patterned, it can be colored over, it can be pushed aside. But 
Blending it in like this helps it all to fit together. And that dirty old bit of tissue can be a wonderful tool. So in order to increase the idea that that light is bright in the centre, I'm putting darker shade colour on the back of those structures that are now created. This image comes from the Inspiration Gallery, which is in the online hot plate course at encaustichouse.com. So if you're interested in learning more about the techniques that lead to this, then have a look. Back on the tissue and putting in a pathway. Sometimes it's good to go over it more than once because you might not get exactly the right feel. And there's always more detail to add. So I think without saying anything else, I'll leave you to watch the rest of the build-up of this. You get the basic idea. I'm trying to create a pathway to the future, to the hope, to the city of light, to a world filled with humanity. And it seems like that future is building day by day. could have been quite a good place to actually end the painting and put these little green dots in. It would have worked fine like that. But I'm always sort of intrigued to go on and see what else could be added. Sometimes you can find yourself overdoing it. But that's the nature of creativity. You have to explore and experiment. All of these forms are radiant from that central light. Sometimes you begin a technique like this one here, just tapping the end of the block. This is the neon blue, so it's not very colored actually. And you start something and then, well, you've got to go on, you've got to finish it off, you've got to take it through the whole image. So some parts get lost or hidden, or changed. But it brings a new energy. And I quite like these taps. It's sort of reverberations. energy of the future coming towards us. And I always think a border can be a nice way to help define an ending and a containment. If you don't get it straight the first time, you can always go back. 
green on top. And then just to delineate it a little strongly, some red. Red being the opposite of green. So that was it. Online hot plate course at encaustichouse.com is where this came from. The products are encaustic art products. And the image is one of hope. And I'm Michael Bossom. Thanks for watching. Bye.